Hey everybody, Test Soup here, and welcome back to another Stanley Cup Playoffs for another doubleheader for tonight of Game 2. Now the first day has already been completed, and now the second day is on. As right now the next matchup we have is the Tampa Bay Lightning to face against the Boston Bruins back at TD Garden Arena. This part of this game is right now 1-0 series turned out to be just great for the Boston Bruins to start off. But for the Tampa Bay Bolts, might need to find an answer way to get into this game. Might be a tough one, then you know it. We'll find out who will win the next game. Will it be the Bruins, or will it be the Lightnings? Now next five, standing by, as we have a commentary here, a Son of Beast and Mephone will be standing by, along with the center ice of the vision, here we have Across is Nickel. I'll see you all later for the post game show, and don't forget to subscribe to his channel. See you folks, and I'll see you all later in a post game show. See you guys after this. It's game two at TD Garden, Boston, and Tampa Bay, ready for the rematch. Opening face-off in Boston in Game 2, and we are about to get started. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. The courtesy lineup is being here as follows. We have as Victor Hedman. Linus Olmark is the starting goaltender for the Boston Bruins. The other side, we have as, we have as McAvoy. That's Brad Merchand right towards it. Bergeron right toward the middle. Then we have as Kuchetzel right towards the center of the wing. And then finally we have is Taylor Hall. On the other side for the Tampa Bay Bolts we have is Sorelli. Then it's Braden Point. DeBrusk has one. Andre Vasilevsky is the starting goaltender for the Bolts of Tampa Bay. The last game we were part of the season we definitely did heard that Toronto Maple Leafs have definitely beat against the Bolts in game number six. It was declared to be an upset and this was happened. Now revenge has been complete. It looks like the Bolts will have to face again for next season. But for 2K on the EA Sports, it will be tough now because this will be the toughest matchup in between Boston and Tampa Bay. Bergeron wins the faceoff. Edmund gets a tough take away as he goes down. He finds it to Kucherov. Spat a save by Omar. March end over to Bergeron. Bergeron right towards the middle of the center. It's blocked up by Sorelli. Now Hedman. Now back to Kucherov. Over again to Killorn. Killorn right toward the middle and the end center of the ice. Now Bogushan goes back over again to Kucherov. Pass over to Killorn. On the right wing. Pass to point. Stop it. Save made by Elias Solmar. We've set the puck here is Bogushan. Marchand's got the puck up the, across the wall. Off again! Omar delivers a save after a Killorn shot and it makes a good save on the inbound. Well, it's definitely tough because Killorn says he wants to make it one time snappy. Well, one tee shot won't be that bad. Critchy wins the face off. Lynn home over to Zacha. They're battling for the loose puck and Carlo rebounds it. Pasternak Scott and I run it across into the Bolts territory. Zacha lost the puck. Trying to revenge it back over again in the wall with the corner. So Welly regroups the puck. Now over again. Hagel trying to look over to Stamkos. Stamkos shot saved made by Omar. Holding up a puck here at 1644 to go in the first period of the game. Now they're ready to do another face-off here in the offense wing. Scoreless in the game. We'll glad you join us here in the TD Garden. Lenon finds Pasternak. Pasternak's looking it over again. He lost the puck. Rebound it. Oh, Veselovsky got that pick. Piece of a save. And tries to hold on with the puck. It's clear now because Pasternak was definitely getting that one in there. He's trying to reflect it and then try to put it back in the net. That was a close call because you know it's very that tough and be honest to be the true thing in the world. Sorelli wins the faceoff. Perfect skips over to Stamkos. One on one attack. Takes a fire set. That's saved off by Alina Solmar. 
Stop goes to Sorelli. Shot! Save made by Leah Solmar. Hango with a shot! It's stopped again! Rebounding it is Pashanox. Now he goes over to Kreji. Kreji looking it over. Pass to Carlo. Carlo blocks a shot by Sergeyev. Sergeyev finds Burbix. Burbix trying to give it off to Colton. Now Sorelli. Shot and saved off again by Lea Omar. Pass to Sorelli. Oh, big save by Omar. That one's going to be turned out quickly. Very well to be be sure is out there. Now the both players are set, ready to take the inbounding from the offensive wing in the Bruins territory. Here's Paul, you will have it now. Perfect swank down hard! That boom wild attack's gonna be a crush out. Pass to Surgev and Jeanette with the steal. Tampa Bay finds Furbix. Here's Cohen back to Sergeyev. Into the offensive wing now. Cohen rebounded again. Back to Paul. Shot. Save me. Leader Solmark gave it a good stop and a run play. And a third save. McAvoy over to Frederick. He loses it off to Coyle. Coyle right over again to McAvoy. Fires it across the round and net. Cernax right over to the wing. Now he will dish off to Sergeyev. In the attacking zone is Sorelli. Rebounding the buck here is Frederick. Frederick, wow, wiped down. Oh, Frederick's not very good on that play. It looks like he's going to have to, like, just try to make that one a close call. But a newer change, because he's really almost going to be hurt and really badly aged. Coil shot went wide. Jeanette passes it over to Kucherov. Kucherov gets bumped up. Orlov over into the wing. The Bruins will take over as McAvoy gives it off to Bergeron. They're in the attacking zone. Cernax recovers the puck. Entering in the attacking zone. Blocked it up from the corner of the wall. Bergeron rolling over into the center of the zone. And Killorn takes it away. Killorn to Kucherov. Trying to reach across. Bellamore shot. Stopped by Omar. That's one time save because they are just putting another offense to pick up the run. They're not really trying to execute with the run, the emotion on offense. They really are trying to maintain it. To go right toward the airway. They really are trying to set up the thing score. Because of that one, they really are starting to go over and under. Boston's got it across here into the corner. Debrusk right into the center of the zone. Find the pad stop. Save me by Veselevsky. Bouchon over to get to Perry. Now passes to Bellamar. Bellamar swings it across right around the net. Here's Carlo right toward the wing. It's over to Zadja. Passes off to Pasternak. Pasternak went slimming down. Victor Redman with a recovery. Carlo gives it over to Zacha. In his own entry, Zacha in the center. Stop it about! Veselovsky saves over again, Ben Bogushan and Maroon. He's keeping an eye on that one. Because of this moment, he's putting up a lot of saves for Veselovsky. He's almost going to get a little bit rough down on the call. Tampa Bay will get back into the work on offense zone. We passed nine minutes, and now it's eight minutes to go in the first period. Lifts it up for the ever end. Clifton has got the puck right over again to Nozak. Nozak right into again to the wing. Trying to go with an open shot, but it's blocked up by Bogashan. Victor Redman over again to Hagel. Hangle pass. Stamkos blocked the shot. Stamkos rebounds it. Shirts and save me by Omar. Only over under seven minutes to go in the first period. Trying to get a little bit of heavy in traffic to put it in bounding. 
Now both teams are set. Ryan to take the face off. And he wins it. Sergeyev blocked it away and Frederick goes over. Looks it up to the other end. 6.40 left to remain in the first period. Get a little crack out of it. Coil to Frederick. Shot! Stopped by Veselovsky, save. We'll hold him in bounding with 6.20 to go. He's more on that play. Snipe on, Pasternak gives up with a great opportunity run to have that one in the play in offense. The motion is very that different because this one keeps it right over to the line. Steven Stamkos has a 1T timing to get right into it. Over 500 goals of the season, he's maintaining his way right towards the end of it. But now at this moment, he now will have to deliver it if he gives another one-time moment to go for the T on the offense run. This is the toughest matchup that they are ever seeing in between the two. I'll be watching in between of Pashinox and Stamkos and we'll find out who takes it in. Back to you guys. Leno, Veselovsky stop. Gonna hold him with 5.12 to go in the first period. He's very good. Look at that. We're in a near closer to the mark of this period. Still no score in this game. And right now, Carlo will take one over to Lindholm. Look out! Blocked away! March and the Bergeron. Club saved by Veselevsky. Under five minutes left. Still no score in the game. They're looking for one. They, they, they might be looking for room because if there is, well, yeah, that might be a little bit hard, and you know it. They really are trying to pick it up again and do it as best as they can. Carlo! One shot wide. The West finds Lindholm. Lindholm to Bergeron. Bergeron went down. Paul with the rebound now over to Cernax. Now Jeanette. Scoop up along the wall by Lindholm. Lindholm getting a little bit piece of out here. And now Carla will give it off after Omar. DeBrusque will have it on in the offense zone to pick up the run. Fires it across. Save me. And Cole will try to take it over. Cohen right over to into the offense zone. Fires it! Another pass saved by Omar. He's half away, now recovers the puck over to Greer. Greer firing across around the net. Cernax will have it on his earth zone. Half away with the puck save. And inside, Greer stops. Cernax over into behind the net. Half away will try to give it over to Luke, and it's stopped by Veselevsky. Veselevsky already showing up. He's like, I'm not leaving out of here. I, there's no way I'm never trying to like get over this because other guys definitely take it over for me. I will never try to do the same like I always do again. Greer with the puck to halfway. Bubbles down! Wow, a little big stop on the chain because halfway was a bounding to crush over it. Nearing it closer to the mark of this period. We still have no score in the first period. We're trying to look for an answer in the first period of the game between the Bolts and the Bruins. Evan right behind the net. Under two minutes to go in the first period, and now he gives off to Bobashan. Pass to Perry. Perry to Edmund. Edmund over again to Maroon. Maroon looking it over with firing around the net. McAvoy's got it across into the offense zone. Pass to Orlov. Orlov to Pasternak. Pasternak will get it over. That's headman and the delay apparently called on Boston. They will call a slashing and now the power plays on for Tampa Bay. David Pasternak's not very uncomfortable with the play in this offense. Not very a good team. You've got to try to stay out of here and you can't get over this with the out without being called slashing. Tampa Bay are on the power play to start for the first period as it's winding down. Ball will deliver a faceoff win. Tugachev rebounds and they got to put in. Barry has his first goal and that's his 20th goal in the playoffs 
It's a power play for the Bulls. They're absolutely doing this again because you know that Perry got a great rebounding out there, and that's what everyone was doing. Tampa Bay, you better not strike it back because if we keep out of here, we have to stay inbound. Keep right your deep team defense with you. Don't be leaving behind. We are losing a lot of man strategy, and we're trying to pull an offense this run against the Boston Bruins. They are a very good team. But don't lose it, guys. You have your respect to behave. Merchant shot stopped again by Vezilevsky. Libra shot, Vezilevsky save. Just only 6.9 seconds in the first period. And now the faceoff's coming on. Now they're ready to be here into the offense zone in the Bolts territory. Sir, Sir really wins it. Sir can check the stem coast. And a one-timer, and it's blocked. So that will end the first period. Perry on a power play goal, giving a start for the Bolts 1 up thing. We'll be right back with the second period. Period number two, about to begin here at Boston. 1 0 is where we left off in the first, and now into the second. Here we go, we start now at the second period. Oh, McAvoy went down. And that was very that colliding the defense up, colliding all over from the place from the man to a man. That's going to be a very tough challenge run. Point Reeves bounced the puck, and now the Tampa Bay has their possession at the board. Lindholm's right towards the corner behind the net. Passes off to Bergeron, over again to Marchand. Watch him, racing over towards the wing, and the outside passes to DeFrost shot! Kicked away here by Vlazilevsky, and they're going to start fighting it! They are starting to go rough on them, says, why to give him a contact, says, hey, yo, what is up with you? And he's like already saying, oh, I'm ready to come in. It's going to be very that challenging, and nobody's ever going to see it like that before. Fight is over. Both guys really never seen what Bergeron and the other player of that one of Victor had been. This was very that biggest and brutal. They really are getting a lot of trouble out there to try to stay out of their zones. But they said. They just keep on messing them. This is what the rival does happen. If the Bolts play against the Bruins, that's what the rival team does happen. They never seen it coming. They never seen it going. Here's Marchand with the puck, and now into the neutral zone, the offense zone. With the shot! It's off the glove by Veselovsky. Sergeyev over it again to Pogoshan. Fires across, misses wide. Omer. Pass almost broken up, and Carlo has it back in with the puck. Now goes over to Kerji. 17.40 to go in the second period of the game. Goes right toward the wall. Kucherov over again to point. Point enters the zone. Point goes over to Killorn. Bobo down! Hello! That really is going to be the biggest part of the game. Every time it happens right now, they will really have started to struggle it up. Try to check it off again if you can. Killorn back into the offense zone. Block the pass. Recovered by Bogoshan. That's the point, and it went behind the net. Frederick right towards the center of the neutral zone. Almost lost the puck and escaped it. But Bogoshan now has to recover. In his own zone. Marchand. Try to reach it over again to Coyle. Coyle right towards the wing. Going with the shot. Sorelli lost that puck. Now holds back on. Just the wing outside in the corner looking for room. Finds Coyle. Shot. It's knocked out of here. And now back to Forbrett. Forbrett really starting to show him off because that was very intenseful how this does happen. They really are trying to make their way around. Not very calling it that they were really tough on the offense. As right now, Forward still recovers it to Clifton. 
Now finds Hathaway. Hathaway right over to get into Clifton. Clifton to Hathaway. Trying to work his way around. Moves around. Coyle takes the puck away. Moves over to Jeanette. Holds back in the offense zone. Hathaway recovers the puck. Now go over again to Nozick. Regrouping the zone. Greer backhand shot. Stopped away by Veselovsky. Knows that short, and Veselovsky will hold the puck here with 13.45 remaining. During the mark of this close ending of the period, still a 1 0 lead over the Boston Bruins. Cridgy with the win. Back to McAvoy. Short! Rebound and put it in! They tie it up! It looks like the puck was deflected and it went off the defender. It didn't seem like he was going to get right in there because that was very un uh, revealed and he didn't really have it all. McAvoy just took it away and he's really messing that one up. Cernak's over here to Coyle and that deflection over there again that put up a bad play for the Bolts to try to stick up the run. Now on the other side we have is Cernak's he fouls over Bellamar. Bellamar over to Cole. Now finds Fernax again to Maroon. Maroon finds her around the net. Orlov's got the puck. Rushes down. Maroon! Hit off the wide. Perry shot stopped by Omar. Perry again to Maroon. Puck taken away by McAvoy. Now it's Zacha over again to Kreji. Bruins are on its way for the Volts run. Pashadox gives it off to Orla. Shoots wide. Rebound again. Stop by the defender. And right with the Veselovsky save, he's trying to go right out of here. Trying to escape it. Bellamar and scores. They're back in a lead by one. That's his 10th goal in the playoffs. They're showing what Bellamar was up there. Even when this comes over with the right around attacker with the backhand, he was really dishing it off really well. That offense has to pay him off the price. And that one does turn out. The leadoff score can definitely score it again. Off the crossbar! That goes right to the corner of the wall and Frederick recovering it again. And now over right to Maroon. Maroon looking it over. And a glove save by Omar. 10.46 remaining in the second period. Still trying to look over it again with the offense. Now both players are inbounding, ready for the faceoff. Point's going to win that faceoff here back to Killorn. And a quick, easy save by, by Omar. Frederick lost it. Point bad save. We're out in front of it. And it's saved again by Omar. Frederick trying to swing it up across over to Coyle. Coyle right down to the offense zone. Point recovers it. From blue to blue line. Killorn. That's the point. Bad save by Omar. Recovered by Carlo. Carlo racing over again to Coyle. In the Bruins to Bolts territory. That's stopped by Vector Hedman. Now Point has it delivered. On the offensive attack, here's Point. Bullet inbounding. That stopped again with the defender. Battle for the loose puck. Marchin has it recovered now. Trying to keep it out of the zone. Lindholm right, right towards Pasternak. Pasternak's good, looking over again, now finds Marchand, now they will bring it into Bolt's territory. He moves it away, close save, counts by Veselevsky. Now Veselevsky's going to have to do it all over again. That really must be meanting that he's catching it big time. Victor Edmund has a call with the defensive player of this game. He has it sticking it up. When he has it stick lift, he can try to like hold it right from the pressure from the offensive run players on their team. If he has that one in there, he could stick it right towards the net. Oh, close call, and that saved here by Veselevsky. Gonna hold it with only under eight minutes to go in the second period. 
That's going to be very close and nobody's ever going to notice. If he gets that stick lift, they're going to say, that was supposed to be a penalty. Now here's a win over again on the other side. Headman hit the puck. And Eagle passes to Stamkos. Stamkos moves in. Save me by Olmark. McAvoy right towards the offensive line in a scrimmage. Trying to make it over to McAvoy to Dozek. Nozick passes to Greer shot. We won't score. That's Dozek. His fourth goal of the playoffs. They're coming back in again. All they did now is just run around it. McAvoy and the Nozick. That's a crazy play where the pass is. Bolts win the faceoff. Stamkos lost the puck and now Nozick will try to deliver it over into the offense zone. Sergeyev right towards the wing. From their zone to their zone. Stamkos pumps down right towards the wall. McAvoy's got it across into the offense zone. Brubix finds Hagel. Hagel with a one-timer. It's blocked up by Orlov. Takes the puck away into the offense zone. Brubix will try to deliver it for their Bolts territory. Kick it out of the zone. And the delay penalty called for holding. That's not very impressive at all. They are starting to get disrupted, and that's what causes to happen to half away is in the penalty box. With the call of Linus Olmark, his X-ray vision is keeping it from right from the outside of the zones. When he gets a pad with the save, his ultra vision can turn out anybody. He's really into a better play in the offense. Definitely won for the part of a regular season rewards. And he's definitely doing a great work on his career effort. I'll be watching him for Lena Solmark for the power play. Back to you. Four bot over to Coil. Clear it out and now bring it into their zone of the territory. Stamkos right towards the wall. Now over again to Headman. Headman back to Colton. Colton right towards the wing in the offense zone. Pass to Paul. In the middle. Blocked it up by Forbert. Forward clears the zone. Just about 4.40 to go in a second, and 45 seconds left remaining for the power play of the Bolts. Paul gets blocked up, and Zacha will try to clear it out again. They're keeping in good vision right now. They're just trying to keep it out. They're just doing really well. Now into the zone to Perry. Cooling shot, fired away, and it's stopped by Olimar. Looks like Halfway's coming out of the penalty box, ready to go. Hawk clears out. Now the man is on advantage is over for the Bolts. What a great run for the stop of the Bolt Bruins. They're awesome. Their team, they wanted to make the next favorite to go for the win. But however, in real game, they got crushed by the wild card team, the winners, by Florida Pampers. This was one that did really happen here before, and they never really caught on to try to stay ahead of the game. They really are trying to get to the point. Now Sergeyev goes passing, it's broken up. Pasternak will try to recover the group. Now moving the pass. Puck right around the zone. And Kucherov's in the corner. Takes the puck and bound. No penalty called on Tampa Bay Lightnings. Over the point. 2.15 left to go in the second period. Killorn bubbles out and scores! It's Braden Point with relentless shot! That was something that they never did because Braden Point just delivers. When Killorn goes down, he just says, take it! And he did. That was one word of pressure. The relentless shot was Braden Point. That was nothing what they were saying about. Braden Point was really into that mode. He wants to go for it, and he did it. Vasilevsky will hold the puck here with just only 1.45 remaining in the second period. This is turning out to be a battle of the battle, Atlantic Coast and the division team. Rival matchups always can't give up because they really are starting to focus on more tensional run to give it up the inbound. He's having passed to Killorn. 
Now Killorn is in the offense zone to pick up this steam. Killorn shot! Olmark save here. 120 left to go in the second period. Still trying to get an answer here to try to extend the lead. Now they're off to another face-off attack. Here's another win. As right now, they will have it back for Greer. Greer passes to Halfway. Halfway shot that went too wide and one minute left to remain in the first, second period. Rolls over again to Bellamar. And now, now they will be doing it to give another run for Bellamar, and now it's denied by Omar. Now they're going over and under as Greer will take it over to Halfway. Halfway tried to forward it in the middle. It's blocked down, but Bogusham recovers it now. Headman will take it over. Final seconds for the second period. To win it! And Omar stops saying, they're just getting over it. Try to keep out of it. You don't want to make mess up any of the defenders if you're going to try to shoot and score. That will be a hard one to try to re regain the group. The offense may not be that tough at all. Olaf Wolves fire it out, and that will end the second period. A 3 and 2 count. Relentless run for Braden Point. They are back up by one. This will be it. Will they tie the series up? Find out after the break and third period underway next. Third period, all set to go and finish it off strong. We hope you enjoyed this part of the presentation for the first game of the night. As right now the Boston Bruins are always picking up a muscle, but sometimes they get called out pretty easily. As you can tell about this one, most players are having a difficult time. What does your fate say about this one here, Meatbone? Well, the Bolts are really are trying to make that one explain. They wanted to get this one done right. But however they were going over it again, they were knocking it out of here. Most players say that they wanted to tie it up. Others say that it is disobeying that they cannot be doing this one at the longer range. This mostly has to improve everyone's attention to get right into the game. I know it's pretty tricky, but don't be honest. They really are starting to go over and under. That's what they do. They don't have anybody to go right from here. Power plays on for the Tampa Bay Bolts as a penalty is called by Brad Marchand with a step to the slashing. Now Killor will take it over to the offense zone. Sacha takes a steal. Right towards the wall and right in their offensive side. Sam goes over the point. Now finds Killor. Killorn on the fast break, passes over to Kucherov, shot, stopped by Elmar. We'll hold it from here with just only 18.42 to go in the third period. Now the teams are all set, about to, to get the puck face off and ready. The win for Bergeron puts it over to Lindholm. Now he has McAvoy, fires it out. Clear the zone from the, from the deck. The chain right to the stand close to Perry. Perry's pass over to Paul. Almost went tipped out too soon. Lindholm will try to get out of here. That's what they do. A lot of defense are trying to put a tackle on the run. Headman over again to Colton. Colton gets smashed. Paul leaves it offside as right now the Tampa Bay Bolts will have another change up to go ready for the faceoff. Now they're in the, in the game to get the faceoff ready. Still 3-2 and two in the third period. Now we have a win. McAvoy slammed down. Bolt strike. Kucherov around him. Pat saved. That's a great offensive run and a defense run. Plus they were really are doing a lot of the offense work on the routine. They've done great. One of the offense are trying to keep it right in the mount and try to rebound it. I would say they may just have to like just go right around it to do it again. They don't want anybody to get right right towards it enough with the goal because if they do, then they're gonna have to like keep an eye on it. One of the players to go with an open look. Point over again to Bogusham with the win. Headman pass over to point. Delay penalty again! And now it will be number one for Boston! Oh boy, the fans are not happy. Their slashing are just putting a killer. 
Zatras in the penalty box. Another power play coming up for the Bolts. They will have to extend it. 4-2 if they get the goal. Bolts. Another power play chance. They're starting to go rough in between game two. After a game one win, it was the Bruins. They had it done the best out of it to do it again. But sometimes, however, the Bolts sometimes get a power play and get a penalty kill. Not for long, the Bolts definitely have it all. They were clean. They were all clean. Everybody clean. Omar will stop the puck here with only 16.36 remaining in the third period. Trying to get overwhelmed out there, but still ready to do it again. Now they're ready for the faceoff in the battle, inbounding for the Bruins territory. Heading over again to Stamkos, fires it! Over around the net, and Carlo with the rebounding, over into the puck in the zone. Kucherov, Stamkos shot, blocked it up again. Point, lost the puck, and Carlo over to Marchan, now in the neutral zone. New line changes for the Bolts. All alone, stop save by Veselevsky. Going for shorthanded, but he was knocked out very soon. Hagel, pass the headman, now over again to Point. Point, working on the roof. Around the offensive player, rebounded again by Carlo. Carlo listens up in the air to bring their, on, on their side of, it, of the wing. Hagel, right towards the wing. Now in the offense zone to pick up the steam. Pass is a shot. Olmark save. Now we'll get carried over with just only 15 14 to go in the third period. Lukita Kucherov got a little slammed over by the chest. He might be he might be fine, but it looks like he might have to just go right over to the medical treatment. Unfortunately, Kucherov is out. He will not be playing for the rest of the period. Charlie McAvoy has it also has a stick him up ability. He tries to do the same thing just like Victor Heitman does. When he has the right moment, he will try to stick it up and then try to take a defensive player offense run to bring it over to their offensive side for the Bruins to pick up for Charlie McAvoy. And that play in mounting is another hard one that they are going to do here for the next part of the game. For Jersey, as right now the power play is over for the Bolts. They've done a great job out there trying to keep him out. That tightness, however, they were just really struggling it up. But I gotta say that they were really a, a better offense run, keeping it right and nice and neat. They really wanted to do it just like they did. Point recovers the puck back over the other end. Trying to move around the around the offense zone past the stem coast. Carlo blocked it away. Carlo lost the puck. Cut in. Cohen lost that puck and Hathaway will give it over. 13-3 to go in the third period. Stick clipped it. Back to Colton. Battle for a loose puck in the chain. Colton in the neutral zone to their offense zone. That puck gets up into the crowd and we got a whistle amount ready for the faceoff. Officials are getting set for ice. They're about to drop the puck. Palmier with the win. Bellamar. Now it's Pasternak. Pasternak passes his hat to a shot. Stop by Veselovsky. Oh man, this is a tightness run. Wow, well does Veselovsky do? Well, he's just very good. <laughs> you get to say that one again. Right out of our faceoff is on the next motion as we're about to get another faceoff with the win. Bogashan gas the puck over and again to Hegman. 12.30 to go in the third period. They're trying to answer back. Shot! Glove saved by Omar. 12.19 remaining in the third period. Trying to answer back to tie this game up. Belomar wins it. Block the shot, it's off on the skater, and now it goes right toward the wall. Belmar, let's save it again by Omar. They're still trying to keep over it and under. Centers glide in for the faceoff. Three and two is where we sat last after the lead coming to chain. Belmar to headband. 
Shot. Pass saved away by Omar. Looks like that Kucherov is not going to be returning at this point. So unfortunately, he's out. Thanks for the update, Mifo. Penalty on the call for the slash. That will be on the bolts. And now the Bruins are going to get the power play done. Well, that's all that happens. Patrick Maroon, without the captain of the Kucherov, it looks like that they are going to do it without him. Bruins are now into the power play strength for the third period. They now still have a 3-2 lead for the Bolts. They now hit the win. Krejci to Hathaway. Hathaway shot. Bezalewski save. Shoot scores. Bertuzzi tied the game. We now on the threes. Excellent work for Bertuzzi. A power play goal and made that one in. Bezalewski did not notice that the puck was flying in. He never really caught up that moment. And that really has to happen that they are trying to go over and under. Wow, this has been the biggest part of a game and nobody has ever seen in Atlantic, Atlantic Division. Sergeyev right towards the offense zone into Furbix. Passes again to Hagel. Over to Stamkos. Tries to go with a slot and it's off again and it's on the glass. Furbix right towards the center. Shoots it for the net, and that's off again by Omar. Carlo right into the wing. Right on his own, here's Carlo. Carlo lost the puck, and Stamkos recovers it. Eagle with the outside of the look. Carlo has it again. Pass to Frederick. Frederick will carry over the puck into their offense zone. Frederick, oh, hello! That is going to be a very hard one. That, they are all smacking at each other. Bruins take it out. And he scores! The second goal of the game is Perry. They are getting away. Back up by one. That's what they know is Corey Perry really does that one. His most plays this one turn out to be a breakaway lead. And they just really wanted to get up in the game to tie the series up before they had their punching their way to game three and four in Tampa. They really wanted to do that. That's going to be a very close call on the range. Maroon to Hedman. Now finds Perry. Perry with two goals, then looking for his third. Perry has one right across. With the backhand shot. Rebound. It's off again a defender. Bellamar still trying to hold on to Omar, and Omar will save it here with 8.31 to go. Four leads still leaves off with a breakaway chain in the lead. Officials are getting set on ice. They're about to drop the puck. With the win, here's McAvoy. Now here's Paterzi right into the zone. In the offensive territory. Frederick up around him. Veselowski holds it with a save and now will push it off again to Perry. Perry fire around the net. Orloff's got a puck here now across to the McAvoy. He goes down, recovers his Maroon. Maroon to focus on the Prairie. Pass save. No call on that play for the penalty. Coil right into the middle. Pokeshawn takes the puck away and now will get it over again to Perry. Tampa Bay on their offense zone. That puck goes out and out of play. Lots of time to be left this period. The Bolts have a 4-3 lead up by one. Back away over to Orloff. He will take it around the net. Hedman with the, with the puck chain. Pass to Jeanette. Still trying to disagree on, on Hedman because his best defenseman was hitting up the notch. That's all it does happen because when they are saying that Victor Hedman was playing really well, He's got to like have to get over it again. Waiting for four or five players to get in the game. And now Markovoy over again to Greer. Here's Greer. Shot. It's Pat Sane. Greer into the corner. Kular will try to take it over, over to Bogushan. Bogushan in the middle. Pass to Paul. Paul with it now to Kilorn. Shot. 
an easy pat save by Omar. They're never seeing that coming because they were already getting there close. Bruins are on the attack. Over around the net. Bogushan into headband. Headband passes to Jeanette. The Bolts are on the run in the Bruins territory. Gets clogged up and Carlo with the takeaway. Pass to Hathaway. Does the same thing every time in motion on offense. They're just flinging it away. And when the players are in, in front of it, they have no choice. They couldn't find it. They can't pass it. And also, they can't just look for open man advantage. With that one, it's going to be a very tough call. When the Bolts are on defense, they are just going to get it right away. Carlo with the puck. Halfway! You not have the right timing as they will have to reset it. And Vesilevsky saved with only 3.47 to go. Here's the call as right now Pasternak has a win for the snipe. Pasternak's doing really well with the snipe. He's getting a little bit of uh, another heavy on this hit. His motion of his drive turned to be okay, but hopefully on each game here in game three and four might be the turn here. He scores! Brett Burton! They are just coming in! All tied up, all does it again. We all up because of Brad Marchand, because of his own, was putting into the offense and then trying to get the goal right in it. Now their team is going nuts and crazy moment to try to move it in, inside out, to have that one bangle the Bengals attackers. This has been a very tough match as the Brad Marchand was doing. I'll be watching him for the next goal game to get it in. Back to you. Over it, stop safe. McAvoy over to Marchand. 2.48 to go in the third period, and Stamkos will take it over to Killorn. Killorn trying to give it over to Point. Point and move! Shot saved by Omar. McAvoy. Point recovers. Omar stop. House knocks with the puck. He gives it over to Bergeron. Bergeron trying to weave it around the man in the middle. Bergeron still looking over. Pass to Pasternak. Booked away. Bergeron with the puck for the loose chain. Marchand, Pasternak stopped by Veselevsky. Pasternak still gives it over to Marchand. He goes down. Burvitz recovers the puck. They're still got a lot of advantage out there. They're just going with the offense run. They're just, man, get it off of here. Nobody looking for anybody. As the puck went right toward the wall, they're down to the final minute of play in the third period. McAvoy will try to leave it in the offense zone. They're going to have to try to fix it up. And he misfires it, and the puck leaves his own. Lino pass to Carlo. Carlo's still finding a random advantage here. Pass to Krejci. Shot! Bogashan takes it away, and now Headbang goes over again to Jeanette. Paul over on the outside finds Colton. Colton gets clogged up. Leno right over to Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi into the center of the zone. 20 seconds. They gotta make it fast. Blocked away. Headman back to Maroon. Very in and bounding. Fires around the net. 10 seconds remaining. They've gotta do this one quick or else it's overtime. Leno. Bogusheim. And he will not take it here for Tuesday, shot wide. So that ends the regulation period, but we are down to overtime left. We will be right back with you right after this break. You're watching the Stanley Cup playoffs on NHL 23 of EA Sports. This is where it comes down to the final period. And now we are in overtime in game two. For the first doubleheader of the game, we saw that the Bolts have already been climbing up in the lead by one. That was only that was only one and zero. Oh. But then the Bolts did it again. It was two and one the last time it was happened. Then in the third period, Boston Bruins have came back in the game to try to pick up the deck. And because of his static ability, it was very that difficult. But the range. Keeps on coming by. Boston Bruins are looking for a win to take out the Bolts. Well, it might be very hard, but it's going to be very impeccable of to make that inbounding to make a successful moment. 
I'll just say that it is very that tough to try to like make the shot and then go with the assist setup. But for this play, he didn't see that coming. And that was all. It did really that happen. And he never noticed what was going to happen. So in each game, it was very that tough because there was a 1-0. and oh, And then it was 2. And then it was forced at the game. Now, it's time to send in to overtime. Who will win the next game? Bolts or Bruins? Let's find out now here at TD Garden. Overtime about to begin in Boston. Puck dropped and we are all set for the second game of overtime. Who's your ride? Stop by Veselovsky. A quick start in the muscle drive turned out to be a hard one to go impacting for Veselovsky stop. Yeah, they're really that much difficulty maintaining it over. They're really are starting to get a little struggle out of it, but don't be that mindful and get things done right away. Point wins the face off back over to Asa Headman. Headman right towards the center. Point tries to reset it over again to Headman. Headman with the with the attack. Passes the point, scores it up, and it went up and over the netting. They will stop the play with just only 19-14 to go in overtime. Now both players are set, ready to take the face off in the offensive wing. And Broden wins it. Orloff kicks the puck over again, right over to McAvoy. Second time kick. Not enough to make Kane. Points in the middle. Shot stop. Over oh, well, Allmark save. Wild run for him, and now they will have to get another face-off ready for the Bruins and Bolts. Now they have a lot of time left to play for this period. The next one could be it. Orgeron wins the face-off. Now he goes right over to McAvoy, over again to Pasternak. He moves right toward the middle. It's blocked the shot. Marchand in the corner. Save me by Vesilevsky. Oh, he is already in it. Watch out now. He was just going right in it. Blowing him by. He just never saw it coming. Now the wind goes into Bogashan. He's right toward the corner. Finds over Stamkos. Stamkos over to Killorn. Killorn over again to Stamkos. To win! It's stopped by Olmark. 49 saves for Olmark. And now here comes Orlov. Pass the McAvoy over again to Pasternak. Point. Grabs the puck away with a steal and Killorn. Pass to Colton. Broken up the play. Bergeron towards the right around the net. Range in motion. Bergeron again to Marchand. Marchand to Orlov. Back to Pasternak. In the wing, bubbled up, pass to Dox, Marchand, short, and stopped again by Bogushan. Here's Paul right towards the outside of the wing, and now inside, the zone, stop again, that's 50 saves for Omar. Yeah, he's, he's doing really well out there, keeping it up right toward the line, they really are starting to stay out of the trouble. And in it going, in this, in this overtime period, they're still tied up. Paul will win the faceoff here. Hammond gets backed up. McAvoy right into the middle. Paul gets bumped out. Orlov with the puck now resetting it courtesy on their line. Here's Bertuzzi. Fires it around the net. The Bolts are back into their possession now with only 15.30 to go. Pull down and he went right towards right to the visitors bench. Frederick recovering again on the offense run to Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi went down. Maroon right passes to Perry. Perry to Bellamar. No penalty call on Boston. They're still getting a lot warmed up already because in overtime. Because when they're ready to do this, they are trying to get it done. Coyle right to Bertuzzi. Shot and saved by Veselevsky. 14.25 to go. McAvoy get bumped up. Barry right over to get to Bellamar. It's a one-on-one -on -one attack. 
in a corner. Harry! Oh, he went down and Omar stopped. Couldn't make the win, and now it's never savior for a previous own of the Allmark stop. Now you're ready for another face-off. Only 14 minutes to remain in overtime. Now it's Boston winning the tip off of the face-off. Half away, right into the corner. To win it! Vasilevsky stops and denies the puck shot. Half away! Oh man, that was tough. Melamar to Maroon. Right towards the net. For the win! Trying to move around again. Lindholm trying to put the puck away and he doesn't get that one right away. Sergachev pumps a corner. Half away. Bumps it up again. So rarely. Half away. Pumps it down. That's it. Stop here by Veselevsky. Lot of battle takedowns. Here's no sec to Carlo. Right toward the glass. That one time he was very off. I never saw that coming like that. It should have been like that. So really glove save by Omar. 52 saves here for Omar, and now we will stop here with her only 12.08 to go in overtime. Now their both teams are on for the face-off into the Bruins territory. Now Crazy will win the face-off now over Zatra. In his own entry, the Bruins, Krejci, Hossel for the win, oh, and he didn't put it back in there as the defender went off the target of the net. Bass Hagel, with the win, Aiden Hallmark stop made, Hagel tries again, rebound in front of it, it's Lynn Holm with the stop. 11.15 to go in the overtime, they're still tied up. Here's Pasta Dogs, and he's bumbled up. Hagel with the puck now again to Sorelli. So really trying to look for the offense. Trying to make a clean out of it. Carlo again to Pasternak. Now goes right over again to Zacha. Zacha. Puck was off. Colton tries to put it away. Bolts are already attacking the Bolt Bruins territory. Shot sure, is Pat saved by Omar. They're already going back and forth. Trying to leave it out of here. Olmark's going to carry the puck with only just uh, passing down the mid-period in the overtime. Paul wins a face-off. And a good block. Going up. That stops the defender and Paul recovers it. Shot save. Jeanette over right to the corner. Edmund. Omar goes over with another save and it says, not your lucky day. Still alive out there as they're still tied up now with only fours. 9.30 in overtime left to go. Here's Paul with the win. Bogashine fires out and it's stopped made by Omar. They're going a lot of shots. Everywhere you're going to turn it out, you're going to need to try to fix it over. Paul's going to race it towards the goaltender. Not this time. Jeanette over Bogoshan, past the stem coach. Heaven! Fires across! Club saved by Omar. Oh, the fans are going to get this thing up to a brilliant of the game. And with that one, if you're watching this game here for the Avs and the Kraken, nope, I'm sorry, the, the Kraken and the Kings, it will be happening here later tonight, so make sure you set that thing now because the next side of it, we will have another one to keep you over with with the game. As the commentators will be standing by, we have this test tube along with the other two. And as this will be paintbrush and finally the center ice will be fan in the middle. So make sure you tune out when you're now only on Set of Beast. It will be coming up very soon at 10 p.m. Edmund trying to take away with the puck and Killorn over to the other side. Killorn! Love saved by Omar. Just uh, passing down, almost eight minutes to go in overtime. Still tied up in the game, looking for a win to get in. This is a lot of passing in, in control, inventory because we remember the back when that Stanley Cup playoffs in 2019, that was the last one that the Bruins had made a win 
over against the Tampa Bay Bolts. They're really like a tough team because you never know that this was getting a lot of harder in between. Because they really have done a lot of better resources. All that does happen now, they are just getting away with them and then try to stop one. The lay penalty call on the on the bolts. The jersey goes down. Boyle will have to stop and play. They're going to get a chance to get the goal for the Bruins. Steven Stamkos has enough. Yeah, that's it now. There are no more calling for you, to Steven Stamkos. The captain is in the penalty box. With that one of Brad Marchand, he has to make it snappy ability to try to work his way on the offense. This ultimate man puts up a range into a skill. The higher motion you will have, the more power you will play. It will be right in for the power play to win it. Back to you. Bozilowski's going to hold it with the puck with only 6.48 to go in overtime. When we ever call Andre Veselevsky as a control contortionist, he's been out there for all night long. He's made a wild save out of this game. We're hopefully finding out if he can get more of it done. Stop by Veselevsky. Zacha gets bumped up in the corner. Cernax will try to fire it across to the Bruins territory. Crazy with the puck now over again to Marchand. Marchand to Bergeron. In the corner, fires it around the net. Cole swings it across. He goes over again, back and under. They're just firing across from the puck. Every power play in this motion, I mean, this is keeping it harder. March and look! Close save by Veselevsky. Cole back the other way, now swing it. 40 seconds for the Boston power play. Kreji over into the wing. Bergeron right into the slot, now finds Lindholm. At over again to Marchand, the blue to blue line. He makes a win! No, he's still not done yet! Rebound! Zernax takes it over. Looks like Steven Samko's ready to get back to work. Almost coming out of the penalty box. The Bruins are unable to make, are unable to make the goal, goal win in overtime, as right now the power play expired. What a great job for the for the Bolts to try to keep him out of the run. Because they were really saying Steven Stamkos got lucky, he might be trading up another uh, shot to take the contest of the shot. All it does happen now, they might be just doing it all over. Circuit shot saved by Omar. That will be 57 saves for Omar. Try to put up the run like he did it. Now he's ready for another faceoff, and now they're still tied it up again. Looking for an next goal in overtime. Bergeron over to Carlo. Now finds Pasternak over into Lindholm. Lindholm pass again to Marchand. Four minutes to go in the overtime. From Bergeron. Shoots in the range. Brzezlowski save. They're still not giving up. Well, it looks like the tired defensemen are really trying to like recover the energy. They're just trying to like make it make it well, well to make it quick. Out of them may not be that easy, so they've got to try to look for another open player. Sergachev wins the face off as right now the Bolts will take it over. And it looks like Bergeron got it. Pasternak open. Turn a shot. Stop by Veselevsky. 3.28 to go in the overtime period. Now they're ready to do an hour face-off challenge to get this game back in order. And Bergeron over to Carlo. Pasternak's in the wing. No penalty called on Tampa. Pasternak's! Too many bodies in the way as there's two on the bounding. Paul fighting for the uh, rebounding and now finds the Furbex. Now finds Jeanette. Jeanette on the move. In the wing trying to go over to Colton to win it! Oh my goodness! Omar's still not giving up! Wow, he, he's been out here all night. How many was that? And a quick save here by Omar. Jeanette trying to hold it over. Carlo, over again to Marchand. Two minutes left in overtime for the first extra period. Now we'll swing it off again to Marchand. Try to go over in the corner on the attack. Try to give it over to run. 
and Sergachev takes the puck away. Samkos right towards the attack, now into the wing. Trying to get the pass, the point shot is stopped by McAvoy. McAvoy over again to Coyle. Coyle looking it over, fires it around the net. Samkos will leave it over into the offense side and now he kicks it off to Furbix. Tampa Bay right into the offense zone to Killorn. Pass to Stamkos. One on one. Lost it, but saved me by Olmark. And never, nevertheless, he still keeps it going. Now he has 62 saves. That's a lot. In game two, this is like a killer. One minute remaining in first overtime period for the Stanley Cup playoffs of game two. Now Stamco shot stopped by Omar. Try to go for an extra goal to pay it up in. He'll learn to win! That denies him! Coyle again to McAvoy. McAvoy to Bertuzzi. Lost the puck. Bellamar takes it over again to Maroon. Maroon getting a little bit bumbled up. 30 seconds to go in overtime. Kick the puck to Bellamar. Bogashine. Coyle got it back. 20 seconds to go in overtime. Still need to get his thing on the run. Bumps out. Now Hedman will give it off to Bellamar. He's going to make that one clear. Bellamar over around the wing. Finds Hedman. And their team will have to catch their breaths. And that will be the end of the first overtime period. And McAvoy will take it over. So with that being said, no score in extra period. We'll get to the second overtime when we come back after this. Don't go anywhere, we got more after this. This is the first time that we're about to be seeing the double overtime, and this game is presented by, presented by Adidas. We're about to be set for double OT number two, and we haven't seen this one since the first postseason in season number two and a franchise of the start for the NHL on EA Sports. We start here for McAvoy. It's blocked up and Hedman will try to give it over again to do it again. Point will have an inbounding. Stab goes past the Killorn and that's number 70 for Linus Omar. He's on wild tonight. He says he's just gonna say he's out of breath already but he wants to keep it up for alive and then try to rehydrate to get in the game. Posture knocks over again to McAvoy, lost the puck. Stamkos will take it over. Rushing to the odd man rush. Backhander, 71 saves for Omar. Bergeron into the center. Trying to look for the open man offense. Shot stop by Veselevsky. Bogoshan recovers it and Mount Hedman began the point to Stamkos. Stamkos backing over to Killorn with the fire cannon point. That's off the defender and now it's Marchand over again to Frederick. Orlov with the puck. Bruins are on the attack going again from circle to circle. Short stop by Vasilevsky. Ball over again to Jeanette. And pull it back again. The Boston Bruins are smashing it. Oh, they're going to be a wild one tonight. Rebound! Score! That's what they called for, a win to succeed it. Boston, on now to Tampa. Coyle, the wait is over and he had that goal to make a release bit. That's it, they're all done now in Boston. It has been an extendable night. We all salute fans, and this has been a long, long night. I know. Definitely saying that. How did that happen? Well, I guess that has to be complainable because that, they really have to enjoy it too. <laughs> yeah, I understand now because this was the only game statistics. If you look over here for the team statistics, this is what everyone happens. We never show you what's going on because at this point, Look how long Linus Omar did. 71 saves in a row 
this has been an incredible night. We've really seen a lot of games out there. And for Andre Vesilevsky, on the other side, he only almost got 60 saves in the game. That's been an incredible night. Well, as it being said right now, I hope you everybody's enjoying watching this extended game of the Bruins and the Bolts, and this part of the double overtime is presented by Adidas. Thanks for joining us here, Son of Beast along with me, Phone, and OJ. I'll see you all again next time. Now to test two for closing the game. Alright guys, I hope you all enjoyed this one. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you again here for the next game. Now, time for three star players of the game, the third star. We see what's going on. It's Corey Perry with two goals and a hit. It releases out with the two points of a game. Good fire and a puck around the goaltender and did really well. The second star on the other hand goes to Charlie McAvoy. Ten hits, assist, and a goal. That's a big smash here. And your first star, a 71 saves for Linus Allmark. He is a wild machine. And this is why the biggest saves of this game was an unbelievable run. First period didn't go so well. Second period got evened up. And then the third period was tied. Then overtime was tied. And second overtime was the win for the Bruins. Now their extension is 2-0 over the Bulls. Well, we'll see the Bolts next time for their home game to face against the against the other team of the Bruins at Amalie Arena. And we'll find out what will happen here with one of our games to keep right towards the offense to go right toward it from here. And our last game for the doubleheader will be the Kraken and the Kings. Keep your eyes tuned as right now I will be standing by in for this part of the game along with my, uh, my commentary crew as right now, it will be another look to go over from the other angle with paintbrush and the center ice will be fan. Sorry, I will say light bulb for sure because why not? Because we can do that one here anyway. So at that moment, I will see you all for our next game. That's what will be happening here. It's coming just a few seconds down there. Just go ahead and watch now. That will be 10 p.m. So thanks for joining us here and good night everybody. Peace out everyone for a while as the Stanley Cup playoffs in EA Sports style. See you all again for game three of Bruins and Bucks. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.